Afternoon friends, it's Z, Zelda, and our J3. Welcome to the park again. Welcome to everybody that's joining me today. Happy Monday. That's all it's saying on my phone. I mean, on my watch. Still got some issues going on up here, but we're gonna be all right. I wanted to show you my two foes that I have. I'm very excited because this weekend has been nothing but coffee, crying, and crochet. The three C's, the three C's of life that are getting me through life. I did pick up Old Man on Saturday afternoon and I had a horrible breakdown. He is in a beautiful box. Ellen. He is in a beautiful box. His name is on the top. It says red. And, uh, the box is heavy. I'm guessing that's because he's an 84 pound baby. <laughs> he is my baby. Speaking of babies, thank you so much to everybody that liked the uh, beanie that I made from the pattern using yarn as a second language. Congrats to them. They succeeded to 1k by Saturday. Woo! Congratulations my friends. Yes! Yarn is life, I tell you guys. I made the beanie for my son and I posted his picture and I have a plethora of DMs and emails and comments. Is that really your son? Who is this man? I want his eyes and yes, he is my child. He's not adopted. I gave birth to the boy. Him and my other son have the beautiful, gorgeous green and hazel eyes. I have really soft brown eyes so yes that is my child and once he saw I let him read the comments because somebody said they wanted to take him home and he was like say what and then he felt bad and he was like I should have retaken that picture better I try to tell him so what am I wearing I'm wearing the Abby shawl by Claire Bob Wilson one two three is my very first teacher here in the YouTube community. I met her at the worst time of my life. <laughs> I mean, I know we have I've had plenty this year. I've had plenty through my lifetime, but that one really sucked it to me. And she was right there and she taught me how to make this. This is called the Abby shawl. It actually here's a picture. The video will be linked down below. This is the picture from her tutorial. It's actually supposed to be an asymmetrical shawl, but I was running out of yarn. So I just went ahead and connected the back together. And voila, this is uh, Lady Dye Yarns. This is the yarn that Michelle Chapin gifted me. And this is uh, Malabrigo. This is also Malabrigo. So that's what I'm wearing. Has a little point at the end. Now let's talk about let's talk about some hose first. I got an old hoe in my beautiful bag that my friend in Tennessee gifted me. I love it. I've never seen anything like it. I keep it with me at all times because it does have that secure wire in here. This is progress on on release the hounds from zines and roger rosina <laughs> i'm going to show you my progress i have i have done some progress i'm using an eye tulip crochet hook that is my favorite yarn in the whole wide world that is my favorite hook in the whole wide world this is called release the hounds and I've started to release them. I am on the purple. Before I was only in the blue. This is all darn good yarn. Every last bit of it. This is the Alania sock yarn that I made the cozy water bottle. That's my pattern being sold through darn good yarn. I'll put that link down below as well. Thank you very much. <laughs> And just all the bits and bobs that I have from Darn Good Yarn that I've collected. And I'm using them to make this beautiful, to make this beautiful shawl. 
I don't know how long it's gonna be, but we're gonna keep going until we run out. Second hoe is in my beautiful bag that Kim the Crafty Nomad gifted me for Christmas. And it has a chalkboard material and I bought the, um, the chalkboard thing. I wrote hashtag yarn is life and then I had drawn a happy face here but I was drinking coffee and when I went to grab the bag it smeared off so it does come clean. I bought the marker thing at the dollar store. Here, okay, I forgot what was in here. Here, I'm using this yarn. It's called Paint Party. And this is one of the colors that my friend bought me a couple days ago when they picked me up and took me to Hobby Lobby. They kidnapped me and I was very thankful. <laughs> so I'm gonna make the Alex Creates. I'll put his link down below. He has a pattern called Space Bears. Hi, Alex. He's an amazing artist. He does everything. He does everything, and he's, I think, 28 years old. He is badass. He's wonderful. His pattern, I'll put a picture here of what it's supposed to look like. It's a one complete beanie with the mask built in and then two little bunny ears. I made the bunny ears as per his written pattern. Y'all heard me? Y'all heard me? <laughs> I am reading a pattern. Well, actually, it's a simple pattern. It's very simple. It's beginner friendly. At the end of each row, it tells you you should have a total of X amount of stitches. And I did these first, like he said. And now I'm working on the beanie part, and then I'm going to get to the Oh no, I'm going to get to the eyes. The eyes are open. Only difference is because I always wear a bun, I turned it into a messy bun space bear hat. And I've tried it on. It does go through, which is great. And I'm just going to keep going per his instructions on how to do it on the written pattern. It is a paid for pattern. I'll put that link down below. Once you get to a certain part, he has a little video tutorial that shows you how to make this part. So that's great because I needed a visual for that. Uh, I have some other hose that I left in the house because, like I said, since my mind is going crazy, I'm just going with it. Whatever comes to mind and if I'm like, I want to make that, I'm going to do that. I cake up the yarn and I start it. So I have a whole plethora of whips on my bed, on my basket, and in the living room table. Right now, whatever it's going to take for me to heal, that's what I'm going to do. If it takes for me to be surrounded by a whole bunch of whips, that's what I'm going to do. The only one that's going to take care of me is me. As you guys always have told me, you know, you guys will sit there and listen to me and help me and give me amazing, great suggestions. But in the end, it does come to me and what do I want to do? And this is what's making me happy. It involves yarn, you know, my favorite. So let's talk about some foes. I have two. For my birthday, I was gifted this yarn, Mandala Watercolors. I had seen it on Crystal's channel from Bagel de Crochet. Hi, Crystal! Love you. And I was like, man, I sure want this. I left it alone, didn't worry about it, and then when my birthday came, I got it. <clears throat> Thank you very much. I was so happy. All my little wishes that I put out to the universe are slowly happening. It is just a load off my mind because I have so much in here already. And I got a very small space in here, you know, I'm cramped. <laughs> so the more space we can have, the better. So I went on YouTube and I saw the video tutorial on Melanie Ham channel. Hello. And she has something called a waistcoat stitch. And she made a beanie 
she suggested chunky yarn. This is a five, I believe. Yes, this is a five. I think that's chunky. I mean, I don't know if it gets chunkier, but <laughs> to me that was chunky enough. Oh darn, I forgot my hook. I grabbed my N crochet hook because she suggested that you go up two or three hook sizes. And I made her beanie. Dun, da, da, da. There is no San Andreas Fault. For those of you new to my channel, San Andreas Fault is the connector line where the colors are like and that just uh, drives me crazy. So every project I make, I try to make sure that there's no San Andreas Fault. This is done in the round. I start at the bottom with my little tutorial that I have, that single chainless foundation crochet. It's very simple. I did as she said, you know, just measure. I'll put that link down below for the video. Again, only difference with this hat, because I always have a bun, I made a hole. So I've got a messy bun beanie. I'll insert a picture of how it looks like here and with my hair popped out through the little hole. It is really toasty. I wore it last night when I walked Grandpa. This is very, very thick material. It covered my ears. That's important for me to cover my ears when I walk. So it went down about up to here. I had to remove my plugs because my plugs were freezing and it was making my ear colder. So I just, you know, I popped them out. And um, this is uh, Amethyst, by the way, if anybody's wondering. We're going to be all over the place today. It's okay. This is a form of healing for me. Thank you. So when I got to the top, see, you start from the bottom. And then when I got to the top, I just did a single crochet decrease. And then I put the... What is that thing called? Ponytail holder. And I just single crocheted around it. And that was it. No, I cannot do a tutorial because there is a tutorial for this. Although there's not for this, there's plenty of tutorials for a um, to, to make this. So I don't want to get in trouble by remaking anybody else's pattern. So when I finished this, I thought, hmm, why not make a mask? It's nice and secure. All I need is the insert, which is not in there yet because I just finished it. Here's my end that just flew out. <laughs> and then the hat goes on top. And let me tell you, I was so toasty. See, I was so toasty last night. My face was covered, my nose, I wasn't freezing. Grandpa had his jacket on, my beanie, we walked, I was so comfortable. I highly suggest this if you're trying to make something that resembles the knit stitch and you're a crocheter. There's a certain way to make this and I love it. I do recommend, I do recommend a big hook, two or three sizes bigger as she suggests because that really helped in me getting these stitches and crochet loosely do not crochet tight if you're if you're a tidy whitey become a loosey goosey <laughs> so that's all i have my friends it's short and sweet the other projects that i have as soon as i get something done or more work on them i'll come back and show you i thank you very much for coming to my channel thank you to all my new subscribers welcome my name is Zelda, like the video game, but around here they call me Z, and I'm a crocheter. I don't knit a bit. <laughs> I love all things 
colorful. I love thinking outside of the box, like far out, way out of the box. Whatever looks crazy to some is right on the money for me. I do have tattoos. I have quite a bit. My son has done some and um, one of my customers did the rest. Customers as in I work for the post office. I'm a carrier. I got over 20 years and when I was in LA area, when I was in the Koreatown area, there was a customer that I was delivering to and I saw him doodling and I told him he should be a tattoo artist and he's like, actually I am. I said, take my number. So after work, this was the first piece. It's a koi fish and he just doodled it. Everything was doodled. There was no, there was no um, paperwork or nothing from a book. Just from his mind, we were talking and he doodled. Well, I can't raise my thing, but I have a video on my tattoos. He's done about 85% of them. What else? Uh, I have not worked in about a year. I do have rheumatoid arthritis in my hands. It affects my shoulders, elbows, wrist, and hands. And now it's affecting my hips. I've been walking like Big Daddy Kane for about two weeks. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I have the heat patches all on my hips and uh, the front part of my thigh, but I got, I'm got i taping those because I don't need them to slide over there to the hee-haw area and <laughs> be screaming, hee-haw, hee-haw. No, no, no. <laughs> we need to be careful in that region if y'all know what I'm saying. Thank you guys for making me laugh. Every time I come here and I'm feeling sad, you guys always lift my spirits. I read every one of your comments. Thank you for being positive. Thank you for helping me with all the, all the shenanigans that's going on. <laughs> I just wanted to let you know that I'm doing okay. My smile is coming back slowly but surely. I'm being creative. That's what's helping me. And, and I'm looking forward to 2021 and hopefully it brings lots of good stuff and lots of healing. All of us need so much healing. We're going to be okay. It's a new year take it one day at a time i love you guys very much please be safe and i'll see you next time bye bye